We want privacy. We want privacy. Hey, hey you, what are you looking at? You ever heard of a thing called privacy? I made this animation of Prince Wan from South Park using Adobe Illustrator and Character Animator. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make one too. Start off by getting a good reference image of the character and tracing over them in Illustrator. 99% of this was done using the pen tool. Tracing is pretty straightforward. The only thing to note is for the face, you want to split it into two. So you can do the South Park Canadian style of mouth animation, where it's like a nutcracker jaw, but for the top part of the face. When you finish tracing and have a layer hierarchy similar to this, you're ready to import it into Character Animator. But before you do, don't forget to record the audio. We want privacy. We want privacy. Hey, hey you, what are you looking at? You ever heard of a thing called privacy? And create the subtitles for it using Premiere Pro. And once that's done, you can pop into Adobe Character Animator to do the rigging process. This is what character rigging looks like. Both eyes were tagged as independent with the eyebrows as a sublayer. The body wasn't tagged as independent, but the arms and legs were. Now to get that puppet pin style of animation, you have to follow this rigging process. For the arm, tag as independent and attach it to the body. Attach two sticks on the side for extra rigidity instead of one stick down the middle of the arm. Add a second handle between where the upper and lower arm intersect and make it draggable. And then for the lower arm, same thing again, a handle where it pivots and a second draggable handle at the end with two sticks on the side. The legs don't really get animated in South Park, so we can leave those alone. The only swaps that I had were for the eyebrows to change between normal, angry, and concerned. In terms of the mouth, add a mouth tag to the upper part of the face and a jaw towards the top of the face and add a transform behavior to the face. It'll come in handy later. Once that's rigged up, you'll be able to move the arms like a puppet pin style of animation. Just don't under or overstretch the limbs too much or the layers will start to deform. For lip syncing, import the audio into your project with subtitles, drag it into your timeline and compute lip sync with audio and transcript. Hey, hey you, what are you looking at? You ever heard of a thing called privacy? To adjust the height of his face moving upwards, you can open the lip sync behavior and expand the manual jaw adjustment setting. To make the face jump higher when the character talks, use negative values for each visiting because the face is going up, and to lower the mouth, use positive values. This looks pretty good, but the icing on the cake is making the head tilt to the left and right when they're talking, which is where the face transform comes in handy. You'll just have to manually keyframe the rotation to sell the lip syncing. <laughs> Apart from that, all I did was really raise the character's arms in the air and move them from left to right with a bit of a bounce in his step by manually adjusting the Y position. When that was done, I brought the character into After Effects and did a basic composition by adding a background and zooming in on the character around the midpoint. And that's pretty much done, so it's time to export. And this was the final product. Privacy. Hey, hey you, what are you looking at? You ever heard of a thing called privacy? If you want to learn the step-by-step -step process I use to draw, animate, and compile characters, check out my animation tutorial here. Thanks for watching, and I hope you respect everyone's privacy.